Welcome to FilmFlix Movie Recap, in today's recap, we're going to be reviewing the movie called, Now You See Me, Part 2. In 1984, in New Jersey, Lionel Shrike, a magician is preparing to perform a trick. The trick involves escaping from a safe that will be dropped into the river. Thaddeus Bradley, is reporting on the event, and stating that the trick is impossible to accomplish. Lionel's son, Dylan, is expressing doubts about the trick's success. Lionel assures Dylan that he will be out of the safe in five minutes. The safe is dropped into the water, but after five minutes, Lionel does not resurface. People start to panic, and Dylan tries to run towards the water, but the authorities hold him back. In the present day in New York City, the horsemen have been in hiding for a year since their last heist show. One member, Henley Reeves, has left the group. Daniel Atlas is walking through a tunnel that leads him to a room where he hears a voice claiming to be part of the Eye, an underground group of magic and illusion. Danny is tired of hiding out and not making progress over the past year, but the voice assures him that their efforts are about to pay off. Thaddeus is seen in a video from his prison cell mentioning the Eye and how the horsemen will face consequences for their actions. In the meantime, Dylan Shrike, continues to play his role as an agent by pretending to be on the trail of the horsemen, even though he is their spy. He talks to new agent, Natalie Austin, and senior agent Cowan, Warshawski, about the leads he has gathered, but they do not believe him. Danny returns to his apartment to find Lula May, sitting on his couch. He sets up a scenario that makes it appear as though Lula's head is cut off on the couch, but Danny is aware that it is a trick. Lula appears behind him and begins to disclose what she knows about the horseman. Danny recognizes her from a previous performance, where she pulled a hat out of a rabbit. He attempts to tie her up, but Lula disappears when his back is turned. Danny is summoned to meet with the rest of the horsemen, where Merritt McKinney and Jack Wilder are practicing card throwing, while Jack believes he has mastered hypnotism. The three arrive at their meeting place to discover Dylan and Lula together, with Lula now a part of the group. Dylan announces that it is time for their next show, which involves sabotaging the launch of the tech program, Okta, and exposing the company's CEO, Owen Case, for his fraudulent actions and data theft from consumers. Disguised as employees, the horsemen arrive at the New York launch site where they set up cameras, and Merritt hypnotizes Owen into confessing his deception. The audience is surprised to see the horsemen reappear on stage, but their performance is interrupted when Dylan discovers a full tarot card and a distorted voice starts exposing their secrets. Natalie, Cowan, and other FBI agents arrive to arrest Dylan, but he manages to uncuff himself and cuff the agents together. The horsemen flee to the roof and slide down a chute, only to find themselves in a Chinese restaurant kitchen in Macau. They realize that this was partly orchestrated by Merritt's twin brother, Chase. A group of armed thugs take them away in vans. Meanwhile, Dylan continues to play his role as an agent and gets a call from Thaddeus, who still plans to take revenge. Dylan later uses Cowan's ID to enter Thaddeus's prison cell and helps him figure out what happened with the horsemen, before eventually setting him free. The horsemen accompany Chase to their next location, where Chase and Merritt reveal that they used to perform as a duo, until Merritt left him behind. Chase shares how he once disguised himself as a pizza delivery man and hypnotized Merritt, and the other horsemen, to steal their information. The horsemen are taken to a building where they meet Walter Mabry, Owen's former partner who they thought had died a year ago. Walter explains that he faked his death with Jack's help and wants the horsemen to steal a memory stick from an underground facility. Lula, Merritt, and Jack refuse, but Danny agrees. The following day, the horsemen go to the supposed oldest magic shop in the world where they meet Lee and Boo Boo. Lee provides them with the necessary tools to execute their heist. Dylan and Thaddeus head to Macau to search for the horsemen. Dylan is still upset with Thaddeus, believing he was responsible for the trick that resulted in Lionel's death. They visit the same magic shop as the horsemen, and speak to Boo Boo and Lee, to gather information. Thaddeus disappears after walking into a sarcophagus, leaving only a note for Dylan. The horsemen are tasked with meeting a South African gangster, at a casino, who will guide them to the facility where they can find the memory stick. 
They pose as researchers, and Jack successfully retrieves the stick, attaching it to a playing card. During individual inspections, they try to keep the card hidden from view, and Danny creates a diversion to allow Merritt to pass the card to Lula, without detection. After a thorough inspection, they are cleared to leave, knowing that the stick would set off the metal detector. Danny waits for someone to take the memory stick, but Walter and his thugs arrive, revealing that they had double-crossed the horsemen. Walter demands the stick, and his thugs attack Danny. However, Dylan arrives and tricks the thugs into chasing him, while he takes out most of them. Dylan then encounters Chase, who distracts him, allowing Walter to knock Dylan unconscious. Walter and his men take Dylan to a boat, where Walter reveals that he knows about Dylan's desire for revenge against his father's killer. It turns out that Walter's father is Arthur Tressler, the man whom the horseman had previously tricked with Dylan's help. Tressler has Dylan locked in a safe and thrown into the river. However, the horsemen rescue Dylan just in time. Meanwhile, Tressler meets with Thaddeus in a limo, and it is implied that Thaddeus helped Tressler in his plan to get revenge on Dylan and the horsemen. The horsemen revive Dylan and take him to their secret base, where they realize that the memory stick they possess is a fake, implying they might have lost it during the earlier attack. Feeling hopeless, they are approached by Lee and Boo Boo, who are revealed to be members of the Eye, a secret organization that has been observing the horsemen. They recognize the need to perform an act to expose Walter and Tressler's true nature, and they begin devising a plan. The horsemen travel to London to carry out their scheme. Jack starts with a small trick involving three cards and three volunteers, followed by Lula's dove act and then Danny performs a water manipulation trick in front of a large audience. The FBI is on their way to apprehend the horsemen, and Walter, Tressler, and Chase are monitoring their locations, noticing a pattern. Chase tracks down Merritt and realizes he's heading towards Greenwich. Worried, Dylan calls the horsemen to meet up at their rendezvous point. Meanwhile, the FBI has arrested Thaddeus. However, Walter's henchmen capture the horsemen and take them onto his plane. As they take off, Chase suggests throwing them off one by one. The villains celebrate with champagne, but Tressler finds a fool card on his bottle. The plane stops, and the villains see the horsemen waving at them outside. The entire thing was a setup, with thousands of Londoners watching the show live. The horsemen explain how they managed to stage the event, with the help of Lee and other willing participants. Jack even hypnotized Chase earlier into planning to throw them off the plane. Walter, Tressler, and Chase get exposed and arrested. Natalie confronts Dylan for deceiving her, but he insists he's still the same person she looked up to when she joined the FBI. He hands her the fake card with all the incriminating evidence and then disappears. Shortly after, Dylan and the horsemen are transported to a building affiliated with the Eye. Dylan enters a room where he discovers photos of his father, including one with Thaddeus. Thaddeus, who managed to escape custody, appears and clarifies that he and Lionel were partners who faked being rivals. Although he has always felt guilty about what happened to Lionel, Thaddeus is proud of the magician Dylan has become. Dylan seems to forgive Thaddeus and asks what they should do next. Thaddeus suggests finding a successor, just as Danny and the others enter the room. Thaddeus leaves them with a final instruction to disregard the curtain in the room. They approach the curtain and discover a door behind it, leading to a spiral staircase. They descend to discover what lies at the bottom, and the film abruptly concludes. And that's all for this recap. See you in the next one.